Hello all, today we will be discussing the other steps which are involved in the processing of tea. Earlier we have completed the four steps. Now we will be starting with the fifth step that is the fixation or kilgreen. This process is accomplished by moderately heating tea leaves and thus deactivating their oxidative enzymes and removing the unwanted scents in the leaves without damaging the flavor of the tea. This step is done to stop the leaf oxidation at a desired level. Traditionally, the tea leaves are panned in a wok. What is wok? Wok is a round bottom pan or steamed but with advancements in technology, kill green is sometimes done by baking or panning in a rolling drum. So, in fixation, you can say the oxidation process is stopped at a desired uh, level, you can say. So here this is the fixation or kill green. You can see it's done in a wok. Wok is a round bottom pan as I already told you. Now there is another step that is sweltering or yellowing. As you know the worldly meaning of sweltering that is very hot. You know the tea leaves uh, after the kill green are allowed to be lightly heated in a closed container which causes the previously green leaves to turn yellow. Why these leaves turn yellow? Because the chlorophyll is degraded in them. As a result, they turn yellow. Fine. Now, the next step is rolling and shape, shaping. The damp tea leaves are then rolled to be transformed into wrinkled strips by using, um, you know, by uh, simply by hand or using a rolling machine, which causes the tea to wrap around itself. This rolling action also causes some of the sap, essential oils and juices inside the leaves to ooze out. You know, uh, by this action, you know, the essential oil juices in the leaves, they come out, they ooze out, which further enhance the taste of the tea. The strips of the tea then can be formed into another shape such as being rolled into spirals, netted and rolled into pellets or tied into balls cones and another other elaborate shapes so uh, whatever the desired shape is required uh, these may be uh, you know uh, transformed into any desired shape uh, here you see the rolling process is done by hand how they are using their hands to do the process of the rolling so um, Moving forward, we have another step that is drying. Now, after rolling, the process is drying. The tea leaves are drying with hot air or you can say in the sun. It's, it can be done in the sun also. What it does, it deactivates the enzymes within the leaves which stop the further oxidation. They don't allow the further oxidation in the tea leaves. The flavor, aroma and character of a good brew is set during this process which is Crucial. So, drying process is very uh, important. Here you see the tea leaves are being dried in the greenhouse. So, here all these tea leaves are uh, set for the drying process in the sun. Now, aging and curing. You know, this is not always required, but some teas mm -hmm. require additional aging, fermentation or baking to reach their drinking potential. For instance, a green tea pura prior to curing into post fermented tea is often bitter. You know, it's bitter and harsh in taste, uh, but becomes sweet and mellow through fermentation uh, by age or dampness. So, this process is not required in all uh, tea types. It's required in some certain tea types. And now, the last step is sorting. Tea sorting can help remove physical impurities such as stems and seeds. Using sorting equipment to improve tea production efficiency is very common in tea processing plants, especially in black tea processing. So this is all about the tea processing. Finally, what we get, we get a finely brewed cup of tea. And that's all about the uh, tea processing. Thank you very much.